Hey, hey, people, Five Aces here. On the 40th day of Corona, Santa gave to me a replay from RV. That's right, we're back in Romanov's Vengeance. Pretty early, uh, if I say so myself, and this is gonna be a high profile match sent to me by none other than Mr. ZX Ganon, current head of balance. And uh, he has procured some, uh, he has added some more people to his roster, transferring them over from the RV, uh, from the Shadow Paradise community. And such is the case with those two players spawning in the northwest quadrant of the map as the Russian Empire. It is gonna be Mr. Isimithol, who has always uh, made, a, made an impression in the Shadow Paradise tournaments. And his opponent is gonna be someone who hasn't been in the in tournaments all that much, but has played um, has played SP religiously regardless. It is Mr. Nah. As the United States of America dispensing freedom, mostly the freedom uh, freedom from a working and proper healthcare system and also the freedom to inject bleach as a solution against coronavirus. Kappa Pride. Ah, no slights intended here. <laughs> Alrighty. So we're already seeing some interesting builds. I have I have spotted some veterancy on the conscripts of Isinithal there. So this is uh, definitely a uh, a conscript conscript veterancy first opener. And with United States, you usually go for spy drones, but I'm not seeing any spy drones just yet. So let's swap over to the support power tab. None. Okay, so it's either that uh, either Na has chosen. No support power at all just yet, or he has chosen a passive one, but whose effect is gonna be real later. Definitely no cooldown on the spy drone just yet. Hmm? Nice little extra veterancy here. Get some gets a good read with the dogs regardless. By the way, that's something you don't need to do when you go scout drones, so. Definitely no scout drones in the mix there. Nah is playing it super safe. He's already queued up the pillbox, and that's gonna be War Factory first. For both players. Interesting. There is gonna be presumably an IFV and a Terra Drone. Ooh, Terra Drone early on can be very devastating if it finds its way into the back lines. Obviously, against the Chrono Miner, it's not that easy to keep locked onto the Chrono. But as it is, yeah, Realm of Vengeance is just a project that is very close to my heart. And also, I want to mention something that has happened recently on on the past couple of videos. Oh my God, those sounds! <laughs> Creepy crawly spiders all across the map. We'll have to learn to live with that. Ooh, that's a machine gunner IFV, is it? Yeah. Just some harassment. Yeah, something that uh, I want to get off my chest real quick is that I've seen some vote brigading regarding the content on the channel. That's kind of weird. That is not uh, gonna help people at all. Like, I've seen whenever I'm uploading a Shadow Paradise replay or a Roman of Vengeance replay, some people are just uh, downvoting it by default without even watching the video. And I mean, you're free to do that, but it doesn't really help anyone because that just means less exposure to open array overall, and that means uh, re less replays to cast from. So I don't recommend doing that. All right, some very nice light harassment. Ooh, <laughs> the war miner was pulled there. That was very close. War miner says no, but that is gonna be a meme, by the way. Like war miner says no. Seriously, those guys pack a punch, and they can also take the beating as well. Decently, decent chunk of armor there. Conyard is going out very early, and that's a Harrier rush. Ooh. Wait a sec, he chose Harrier promotion. That Harrier is on vet too, from killing a turret drone and being um, vetted up by default, I guess. Really nice unit retaining uh, retainment here by, by Na, and he's starting the harassment train. It's super hard to counter that early on as Soviets because you need raider tech, which he has, but you also need the will to produce uh, anything, uh, to produce flak troopers, because they're not very combat effective. He's going for oil direct harassment, that does two things. First off, it gives away your radar rush, it gives away your intentions, and secondly, more important, it just takes so much time before it actually has any impact at all. Sure, he's gonna send those planes in one by one on, cool on cooldown, but uh. And there is a crazy Ivan out. Okay, I like that. Crazy Ivan is a bit of a bit of a uh, strat out of the blue. Wait, do the Air Force command pads work now? So, oh my God, tier three rush, it's happened. I think it's gonna work now. Oh my goodness, did they manage to fix it? So what what was happening previously was that, despite there being four landing pad graphics, only one of them was actually working, and seemingly this has been fixed now. Let's hope that's actually the case. Because this would make Harrier play so much more devastating. We're seeing a little... Uh, we're hearing a little incursion there. Two crazy albums. Well, what's the plan here? 
what's the vector victor? I, I guess they can just take out the old Derek and some protected. Derek for a Derek. Alrighty. Yeah, one crazy Ivan just... Hello? Let me see a bomb. Do you have it? Oh well, that almost kills it. Ooh. Harry is trying to find the mark. No, he did. <laughs> he didn't even attach a bomb. That was just straight up the residual explosion from the <laughs> crazy Ivan explosives. That's pretty sick. I didn't know that that packed such a punch. Wow. Ooh, Tanya as well. What an offbeat um, early early engagement there. Flak trooper drop with flak tracks. That is devastating if it, if it connects onto uh, if it connects onto the helipad or onto the air force command. Ooh, prism tower defending against uh, the crazy Ivan there. Tactical face time face palm. That's right. Yeah, Ganon adding more to more people to his esports roster there. That's pretty cool, but don't give him any ideas. A little bit of harassment. Oh, that's a guardian chi I drop. It was. There was an attempt, but at least he scouted out the base, he found the helipad out. And uh, this is the original Kanya, because that's how RV works. The economy scales in such a way that it's more beneficial for you to just move out your original Kanya rather than building a new one. It's also very expensive. Ah, no wait, that was a support power. That was the paradrop support power that you get from T0, uh, from tier 1. Rocket IFVs have new graphics, damn, this game sure has changed. As do the Grizzly tanks, by the way. Okay, this game has gotten a serious overhaul. Machine gun IV is still the same though. As far as I can tell. Soviet assets look roughly the same, except the helipad got, got fixed. It used to have some major graphical issues, but looking good now, looking good. The original base is very open. Ooh, siege chopper drop. Alrighty. It's just it just has to deploy outside of prison tower range. And thus the grasshopper choppers can go to town. Mirage tank is not going to do much there. You know, now you can see the, the devastating punch they pack. Like, even against the Chrono Miners. Chrono Miners are not safe from this. Hello, I'm definitely... I'm definitely a tree. No one here but us trees. Yeah, that leads Na to... That triggers a move out from the entire army. But rock IVs are there. And they can chase them to the end of the earth. I think you could kill them, actually. Two rock IFBs, that's not too scary. Oh yeah, the Siege Choppers also fire on the move, that's pretty cool. Yeah, he can easily take them out, wow. They don't have much health at all. Mm. He's trying to get... Trying to get the snipes here, but it's just too much. Just too much anti-air here. And... Too little ammo in the cargo base to actually do anything of any significance. Ooh. He's trying to go for the tech center. Okay, so I was wrong last time. Last time I assumed that uh, Siege Choppers would be air-to-air, -air, uh, capable of air-to-air -air combat as well. That seems to be not the case, distinctively not. This battle fortress has Tanya inside. Oh my goodness, that's gonna have a field day with the Tesla Troopers. If only he keeps them in a safe zone. Just, just a little bit closer. Yeah, there she goes. Rock and roll. Ooh, the Battle Fortress is taking some significant damage, but in the process, it is slaughtering the infantry. More Siege Choppers appearing, and they are tankier than I suspected. Vet 3 flag track here, but ultimately, the Tesla Troopers paid the price. So many dead Tesla Troopers there. They cost, what, 400 a pop? Yeah, 400. That is a very significant... Uh, oh, the airborne. Just defensive airborne right there. Gonna go to support power tab. Spy plane and Tesla drop, that's just the regular support part that you get on regular tech. Ha! <laughs> paradrop for paradrop. There was an attempt. Man, he's finding out all those Mirage tanks. I didn't know you could actually target them with open fire. Cool. Well, that paradrop didn't do anything. I was like two lonesome Tesla troopers remaining. Yeah, cleanup crew has arrived. And so far the map is pretty split and no one has taken an aggressive expansion just yet. Seed Sharpers though are starting to do a number. Their health pool must have increased significantly. And now there's a Tesla drop, this time Tanya is nowhere to be found. Chi is able to hold the line, surprisingly. Surprisingly well there. Oh yeah, but the siege has begun. They have committed and th the grasshopper bug unfortunately was fixed. I really am, am sad to see it go. 
Nice, he snipes the refiner and the parabombs onto stationary infantry. That is super smart. Ooh, perfect hit. Dead center right there. In come the Tesla troopers again. And he's chosen the spy drone, like a late spy drone pick. Interesting. I don't think, like, the Mirage tanks can get overwhelmed by the Tesla block. Yeah! This is no joke. Tesla troopers are scary, and they can't get crushed. Oh my goodness, he's engaging with Mirage tanks? They are so expensive. Yeah, he needs to fire from outside of range. That's the weakness and drawback of Tesla's is their abysmal range. And Tanya's here. No fear, Tanya's here. Again, losing thousands of dollars worth of Tesla troopers. That is some sensitive equipment right there. Ouch. That is a, a herd of dead harvesters grazing and trying to find some new territory to graze from. He definitely needs a third expansion. But I, I'd wager that the same is true here, yeah. Nah, it is in the same position. Ooh, B2 Spirit is out now. We've seen last patch how devastating they are, but I think their uh, area of effect damage got, got reduced. Seals, yeah, the United States have seals. That's right, forgot about that one. So the siege has begun. What's he targeting right there? He's force firing. Okay, yeah, now he's got it. He's got the mark. It's a bit annoying. Mm. He won't find the angle here. Nope. But with only like four or five IFVs in the mix, I think he can still take the fight if, he, if he's not in Patriot Missile System range. Anyway, be it as it may, Rhino Tanks, by the way, we have also a new camo. <coughs> just putting it out there and new graphics. I guess it's just new graphics. Yeah, this is a significant amount of siege choppering going on there. Very compact. Ooh, this is gonna get scouted by the spy plane. Very compact formation, and at least now Icenifal knows which composition he has to prepare for. It's mainly tier 3. Best counter would be some, some swift strikers, or engaging with an army and then sending a flak trap with full of uh, full of crazy Ivans in, into the mix. That would be sick. That would be the play. On the other side of the map, there is still only a, a yeah, banged up Patriot system as anti-air. So this is easily going to get dispatched off if he sees the weakness. Yep, seizing it down. Ooh, but the paragraph on the other side of the map is going to be able to clean up the war factory if nothing has, nothing is done about it. Ooh, see Sharper's doing their best, just, just swiping the base clean. Oh, Radar Dome gets sold off, but this drop is a problem. Honestly, that's kind of. That's kind of his bad. Ooh, yeah, that's the, that's the war miner, though. I forgot about those. That's kind of Icenithal's bad. He could have expected something like this. But at least he only loses tier, uh, his tier 2. Tesla tanks now. Mm. I myself am a Tesla tank connoisseur. And as such, I very much support those actions. Oh my goodness. That is uh, a bit too close for comfort. Well, I guess they're committed now. Okay. Ah, uh, we should have undeployed that a little bit earlier. And now time to kill the expansion node off. On the right hand side, we've got a massive Tesla push, but there are so many GIs here. Seals as well in the mix. I doubt this is gonna happen. Man, expansion node down, yeah. And now he can go to town on the refineries, finally. But there's gotta be a, a sizable push on the other side of the map as well. Ooh, that's a chrono boost ready. That is very smart. Using the B2 stationary siege choppers and that is such a big army i mean humvees don't pack the don't pack the most punch but they are all right in the grand scheme of things parabombs are on rank two i believe so let's see if we can connect onto them oh my but there is a significant counter push onto the main base mass tesla troopers oh the airstrike is coming in what's the angle that's a good angle but he keeps moving anyway Nothing has happened, yeah. No kills have been found right there. And as such, we're gonna have find ourselves in a base trade scenario. This is so crazy. I love Avi. Just for all the... It's awesome for all the wrong reasons. <laughs> no, seriously. Shout out to the modders. Mustafa and co. They have done a phenomenal job. Also, cleaning up the graphics, I have noticed. All of the graphics have been significantly cleaned up here. Wow. Mirage tanks apparently only really take damage from anti-armor weapons now. IFVs, as per usual, 
As long as the Mirage tanks are under the mix, the IVs are not scary. With... Oh. Finding damage onto the Conyard. Siege Choppers as well, and now the Siege Choppers are... Oh! Cruiser Strike misses! Se uh, siege Choppers going airborne just at the right time. Wow, what a play. And he's landing on top of the Conyard, I think? Huh. If he crashes now... Oh, it's so close! What? There's a... There's a repair IV. And the V3 Storm! My goodness! Everything! Oh! The Conyard goes down. What a hype series of plays. Okay, I did not have that, miss, that, that V3 Storm on the radar. Must have been leveled up just right now. Jeez! What a game! What a back and forth. Now there's an expansion node out for Icenithal, so... He, if he can establish some eco there, he's gonna be in an okay spot. But he hasn't managed to kick the econ of Na. <clears throat> so Na's still mining off at two bases, technically. And right now, it's gonna be welfare income. I mean, it's, it's a communist state, so it's okay. Equal share for everyone. But equal share of trash economy is still trash economy. In the grand scheme of things. It's just uh, it's just how communism works. Sorry, lads. Lads and lasses. Okay, refineries are gonna be chipped away at. Oh, Spy Drone here providing some nice line of sight then. Yeah, I feel like Nah just doesn't, can't decide what to, where to rotate to first. The Siege Trap Reception just proven too mobile. And he hasn't found any snipes with the IFVs. I guess they're just a little too slow. But he's got a sizable push onto the main base now. That is gonna be perilous. Everything has been cleaned up. The Siege Choppers have proven their worth. There is another MCV out there. Yeah, okay, the service depot was still available. So the Soviet economy is gonna suffer in just a bit because I think there is still a battle fortress in the mix with the Tanya. Oh, low power for the time being. So if he snipes the power plants, that's gonna be desperate times. Ooh, that's so good. Siege sharpers can land and not be punished at the time being. At the same rate, can he hold his main base? This is a complete clusterfuck. Oh, the Tesla coil got supercharged. Ah, oh, doesn't get another shot off. This is gonna spell troubles here. Oh no. This is gonna spell massive troubles for Icenithal. But at the same rate, the main base of Na is gone as well. He has one expansion node here. That counts as a building as far as I'm aware, so... Oh wait, he also has a sneaky conyard. <laughs> Does he have the econ to rebuild, is the question. No. No. Absolutely not. Not even close to it. Seed Sharpers have fed it up so nicely. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Decimating the infantry on the ground. I mean, their DPS when airborne is not the greatest, but it's okay. Both the players are completely broke. Bankruptcy is imminent. They need to, uh... They need to ask for Corona... Corona support here. The economy is suffering. I think he needs to try and fight. Uh, he, he needs to try and fight the IFVs. Ooh, again, dodging the airstrike. With pure prediction. Awesome play. Damn, Icenithal and Na both playing their hearts out here. I think... No, no, don't go for the power plants. Kill the IFVs. Like, the sea trappers are really tanky. I think he can take that trade. Deploying on the high ground? No, okay. Just shaving off more and more health. That is such sick play. These racks are basically the only production facility that Na has left. Literally. They're literally the only one. The prison tank, on the other hand, is single-handedly gonna decimate the, the base with the help of scout drones. Holy shit, what a game. I see it all does theoretically have a conyard, but he can't do anything. Para bombs! Danger close, paras! This is a true battle of support powers. This is worthy of a uh, of a Command and Conquer Generals game. Seriously, this is what what I always envisioned um, Romanov's Vengeance to become a worthy successor to CNZ Generals. Not successor, maybe, but uh, a worthy reiteration of of Generals in the Open Array engine. Just the crazy support power turnarounds, the crazy plays, the wackiness. Ah, oh, it's all there. It's all coming together. All coming up, Millhouse. I'm really, really hyped. Ganon sent me this replay and uh, I don't regret, for the first time in a long time, I don't regret clicking it what Ganon sent me. Kappa Pride. <laughs> nah, JK.
Love you, Ganon. <laughs> Spy plane coming in? That's very smart. Pick your battles. Man, the Siege Sharpers, so many of them are alive on red on red health. <sighs> he's still he's still in the game. He has a refinery. He has managed to stabilize. I think I Sinithal has got this, unless the prism tank is single-handedly gonna end the game, but I don't see that happening. Not for the time being. He's out positioning the army so hard. What's the situation? There's a V3 storm. I think he can end it with one click. If he just clicks here, there are no buildings here. Like, defenses don't count. I think he just needs to press the V3 storm button and he's good to go. By the way, what we've seen previously was not a repair IFE, I just realized, but emergency repair. It's got a three minute cooldown, but I don't think it works on airborne units, so if he wants to repair, he probably has to deploy his units here. Is that the V3 storm? Yes, it is the V3 storm. Thank you very much. Uh, the area of effect is less impressive than I thought. <laughs> okay, disregard that, maybe. Seeing as the Corona Miners have no more use, he should just use them for scouting, to be honest. Yeah, the IFV is gonna find out about the base, he's not gonna be too happy. Basically, his only trump card is the Prism Tank. And it's on red health now, and doesn't have veterancy. I'm not really seeing it. Well, there is a Vet 3 IFV. Two, uh, Vet 2 IFV and a Vet 3 IFV. And the out positioning is just crazy. Oh no! Wait, that's a Cruiser Strike. Right. Right, I forgot about that. That didn't kill the single building. Okay. Oh my lord. I think the support powers are still somewhat RNG based. I'm not sure how it exactly works. He's doing it so well, splitting up his splitting up his units into control groups and just hiding them away. And all he needs to do is play for time. I Sinithal is he basically has got this. Oh Tanya! The, I forgot about Tanya! I completely forgot about Tanya. Is that what he needs to turn this around? Is that all he needs? Well, now he needs to go on a warpath with the war miners. War miner against Battle Fortress. Duel of the ages. <clears throat> he needs to be cautious that the war miner doesn't give away the position of the of the hidden base. Yep, another scouting run here. The monkey just just standing by and observing. Monkey in spectator mode. Wait. Oh, there's Guardian GI in there as well. This is a one hell of a scary ass Battle Fortress. Plus, Guardian GIs also give it anti-air, so this is impervious to everything. But, down to two buildings and soon to be one. I think if he commits now, he's got this. Does he have any support powers up? 15 seconds on the parabombs. He can use the parabombs to kill the power plant and then all he needs to do is stall for three more minutes and get rid of the service depot. Man, that prism tank still there. But he has, doesn't have any intel on, on targets. He still thinks that there is something here in the shadows. Yeah. Still thinks the sentry gun lurking here. That's so smart. One of the siege sharpers. Oh, chrono boost being used, so they're gonna have more DPS, and also they are going to be able to be much, much faster. Yeah, power plant goes down. Very smart. Prudent choice. That's the last building. If this goes down, it's it's game over. Oh, but the boosted IFVs. Boost runs out. Boost ran out. No, not like this. Okay, commits. Perfect. Finds the snipes. And they're always able to just keep barely outside of range of the IFVs. Is the... Yeah, Prism Tank could have actually gotten some damage onto the uh, onto the main base, but didn't. Man, where's the Battle Fortress? It's slowly crawling down south, isn't it? No, no. Four siege choppers remaining. Battle Fortress is... is <laughs> has put its eggs in the wrong basket, was trying to find a, find a hidden base in the top right, but nothing. Ooh, is that from outside of... Yeah, of course, because you can't... Okay, that's also something that got implemented. You can't, uh, you can't have line of sight over cliffs. This is the greatest Seed Sharper play I've seen in this game. Okay, he used the, the field repairs as well as far as... Yeah. Field repairs just got used to their back to full health. Only three IFVs remaining. But only four siege choppers! Oof. Getting a bit lower. The prism tank. It has connected. It has found its way into the heart of the Soviet economy right there. Ooh. 
Yeah, Tesla coil is on. Okay, that's what he needs. Two Tesla coils is, I think, enough to kill, uh, or to ward off at least, the Tanya with the Battle Fortress. Especially when both of them are supercharged. Yeah, two supercharged Tesla coils definitely are going to kill this immediately. Okay, so where, where, where are we at? A 10 strike is ready, but it's not enough to kill two Tesla coils. V3 Storm is very, very close to coming up, and I think he needs to couple those two. He needs to click uh, dead center onto the service depot and send his siege choppers in at the same time. Okay, Battle Fortress is slowly crawling down south. He doesn't see the Teslas. This might be a rude awakening. This is one. And I think you can hear it through the fog of war when they're being supercharged. But, oh my god, this is down to the wire. What is this game? Oh! Low power. But Tesla coils when supercharged do still give you uh, do still give you defense. <sighs> what is this? What is this madness? These? Only on one harvester as well. Okay, V3 Storm. Ooh, coming in and doing a That's it. He didn't even need the siege sharpers in the end. What a game! This was fantastic from start to finish. Shout out to both players. This was so close. I was never able to really call it. Both players still had some some cards left here. Some trump cards. What an insane line of plays from both sides. Just huge shout out and also shout out to Gan on the mod team. Uh, this Roman of Vengeance is looking better and better. It is going to be a true worthy um, CNG Generals for Open Array. That is my prediction. With that, I'm going to leave you into into your corona induced lockdown uh enjoy the last days of it i hope it's gonna blow over soon it certainly has so in, in austria already uh and the schools are gonna be reopening in a month yeah so thank you for watching this has been a blast to cast from start to finish my name has been five aces see you next time five aces out